We are live at Aquapotics this morning in Marquette. They've been open for just over a month, and we've been uh, touring the space and learning a little bit about float therapy. You know, I put my hand in the water right before uh, we went to that last break, and I have a ton of salt on it. Oh, That's yeah. normal. That's what you can expect when you get out of the, the pod. Yeah, for sure. So because there's so much salt in the pod, you're going to evaporate that water once you get out of the pod, and you're going to feel a lot of salt. Uh, we do recommend people to take a shower afterwards, uh, take a shower beforehand. Um, but yeah, you can, you can expect some salt. And there are some things that you do have to keep in mind to prepare for an appointment. Tia, what did you have to go through before your appointment? Well, I took a shower uh, beforehand. At home? At home, yes. I took a shower afterwards because I was so <laughs> salty. Yeah. And so my hair was so crunchy. It felt like I used an entire can of Aquanet or something <laughs> almost. Um, but I mean, my skin felt really good. But I also noticed after the fact, because um, I didn't really read up on what I should do beforehand, um, I noticed that you recommended maybe don't shave or wax on the day of your appoint appointment. Mm -hmm. I actually shaved my legs in the shower before coming here, and then I could kind of like feel the yeah. salt kind of like stung a little bit, so that's just something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that'll happen. Uh, we recommend people to just come shaved and, and wax. Uh, unfortunately, it's just what happens with the, with the salt, just mm -hmm. getting into that, those open pores, things of that nature, but yeah. And so that, uh, I mean, keeping that in mind, if you also have like open wounds or cuts, you yes. might really be feeling that and it can take away from the sensory deprivation experience. And that's one thing that we have in our, um, in our room right here is we have uh, propylene glycol, which is uh, Vaseline mm -hmm. that you can apply onto any open cuts or sores that you might have on your hands, fingers, legs, things of that nature, which will prevent that burning sensation a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, we also recommend people to let us know when you have your hair dyed. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing we like to do is just keep the pod away from dyes that mm -hmm. people dye their hair with and self-tanners, things like that. So you want clean skin? Yes, clean skin. Yeah, clean skin is really important. We like to keep the pod very clean and hygienic and things of that nature. So, But we also have some moist towels in there that you can exfoliate and rinse off and wipe off before and after your, your float session. And we should add that those moist towels are kept in a heated, it looks like a refrigerator, yeah, but it, it is heated <laughs> and it was just so hot, such a lovely experience oh, yeah. like using that towel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a sterile, it's a sterilizer. Um, we keep, I don't know what the temperature is for the towels, but uh, they're kept very warm and it's really nice just rubbing your body off with those. So you talked about prep, but t take us through the room itself. Like we've seen the pod, touched the water, but what else is in there? What can people expect when they when they do go? Okay, so when you come into, ooh, sorry, when you come into our room, um, you're gonna be welcomed with a big gigantic pod and you're like, how did this thing get in here? Well, it managed to get in here, but you'll see we have our towel warmer right here that anybody can use. It can rinse off, as, use as many as you like. Um, for both sections. Use as many towels as you like. We have full body towels. Um, and then over here we have emergency eye wash, some saline solutions for those who might have some contacts in their eyes. We recommend taking them out because salt solution could get in your eyes and if so, we recommend uh, doing the emergency eye wash. Some, some of that Vaseline I told you guys about to use before your cuts. I mean, before on your cuts and stuff like that, some makeup removers, some earplugs, things of that nature. Okay. We also have a float pillow that keeps your neck and head kind of at, at ease and um, makes it makes the experience better along with our iPad that you can control the volume of the music and control what music you like to get into your senses and meditation. Okay, so if you wanted to listen to uh, Top 40 yeah. while you're in there, you could. If you want to listen to country, whatever floats your boat, whatever floats you. <laughs> <laughs> whatever floats your soap. Yeah, what did you listen to, Tia? Okay, I just listened to the meditative playlist. Yeah. When, okay, when I was on my way, I had the intentions of listening to the Tortured Poets Department. That's so what I, I thought came you in, were I was like, okay, to. I feel like I need to um, kind of just <laughs> get into that meditative zone because otherwise I just would have been in the pod singing and I wanted to get more of the experience. But yeah. I also mentioned that I was able to control like the light and yeah. the music from the inside. So if you want to open that back up again, you can just... So on the inside right here, we have a raised uh, button, which is easy to find in the dark that controls the ability of the light, turns it on or off just to get you into that sensory experience. And then we also have a button that's flush that you can control the music whenever you want to go zero, zero sensory. Is there like a jacuzzi feature where you can get some bubbles mm -hmm. or no? No, uh, no, you do not want to be in the pod when it's circulating. That's when it's cleaning itself and okay. doing what it has to do to prep for the next person. 
Okay, good to know, yeah. good to know. <laughs> All right, well, let's take another break because uh, we want to feature the other piece of this space because you have the pod here and then you have um, a Reiki pract oh. practitioner in the other space. So we're going to meet Lindsay when we come back.